Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today an off-topic upload. This one just for the kids. Do we have some kids with us right now? We do. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. This is a feature called Reading with Rick. We got a book for you here in just a moment. Uh, you guys like these Easter eggs? Aren't these cute? These are pretty cool. You might want to watch my video tomorrow. It's going to be more for the adults, but when I'm talking, walking on the lot and in my office, you might see some of these Easter eggs. And you can help them find them because you're a lot better at finding these than they are. And they might have an opportunity to win this prize. This is six foot by eight foot. Mural. It's pretty cool. I'm going to set this over here real quick. Right, that way you guys can still see it. And that's a big giant Corvette on that picture you just saw. And the people, the adults that you're watching the video with right now, they either have a Corvette or they just like cool cars like the Corvette. Also want to thank Russ in California for his little bunny in the intro of today's video popping out of the frunk. That's what they call the front trunk of that 2020 mid-engine Corvette. That was really cute. But kids watching right now, I want you to know that that bunny's daddy was right there with that bunny to make sure that they were safe. I don't want you jumping in the trunk of your parents' cars. That's not a good idea and that's not safe. That was cute for the video, but again, the daddy was right there with the bunny, so please don't do that, okay? I do want you to be smart and I do want you to be safe. Just like you're doing at home right now, a lot of you kids are staying at home more than you normally do, and I know it feels kind of weird, but you're doing the right thing. You're being smart, you're being strong, and you're being safe. And by doing so, you're protecting yourself and your family. And yeah, you're probably washing your hands a little bit more than you should, but you're doing a great job. Remember to wash those hands like this, do the tops, do in between the fingers, do it for at least 20 seconds. But what happens when you're washing your hands? And it's okay, you could say, yeah, it starts to tickle sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> Just keep doing a good job. All right, give me a high five. Oh. I'm sorry, no high fives, social distance, give me a knuckle touch. Do make a little fist and boom, yeah, like that. What was that? Do that again. Boom, hey, do that right there, right there. <laughs> now the parents you're watching with and the adults you're watching me with, they know that I like sound effects. I'll do little things like this, watch this, I'll go up here and I'll come back down. Oh, that sounded pretty cool, didn't it? You wanna try it? Okay, we'll put your finger up real quick and we're gonna go up here and then we're gonna come back down. So we're gonna go up like this. Now, oh, wait a minute, start right here with my finger. You got it? All right, let's go up and let's come back down. That was pretty cool, good job. Another thing that's cool after this video is done below, the adults that you're watching with or your parents, there's a link they can click and they can print off some really cool Corvette coloring pages. It'll give you some more things to do in your free time. So keep up the great work. I do appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you enjoy those color pages. I'm going to show off my daughter just for a second, too. I bought her an iPad a couple of years ago. She used to do all kinds of sketches and stuff. Now she's doing this digital art, got this pen, and she's spending hours drawing, shading, and all kinds of stuff. Look at these cool pictures that my 12-year-old daughter, Nicole, has drawn. Yeah, I'm a proud daddy. Doesn't she do a great job? No matter what it is that you do, I want you guys to have fun doing it. All right, about ready to read our book. You guys have a favorite toy with you? You do? All right, fantastic. Hold on to that favorite toy. I've got mine with me right now. Look at this cool Corvette police car. And it has a little trick too. Open up this back, I'm gonna push this button. Watch this, guys. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that neat? Yes, now it's a real police car. But it is missing one thing. Yep, police, I'm sorry, no police sounds. They can put sounds on a Build-A-Bear, I just, I don't have any sirens for my Corvette diecast. All right, get ready now. We're gonna read this book called The Gingerbread Man, Loose in the School. Now kids, I'm not sure if your school does this, but I remember when I was a kid, I would love sitting in class when the teacher would read us a book. She'd read a couple of pages, then show us a couple of pages. I would just sit there listening to the story. So thanks for joining us today for Reading with Rick. Here we go, The Gingerbread Man, Loose in the School. I began in a bowl. I was not yet myself. 
just a list of ingredients pulled from a shelf, chosen by children who measured and mixed my smooth, spicy batter while sneaking in quick licks. So there's the bowl. Then, did you ever do that? When your mom or dad was making a cake, a little lick of the batter, the frosting, that's the best one to sneak the lick at, yeah, absolutely. All right, page two. A sprinkle of ginger, some cinnamon too, molasses, soft butter, and eggs as my glue. Then in their classroom, the children began to roll me and mold me to look like a man. They added some sweets to make me complete, and I baked on a pan in the warm oven heat. I heard a small ding, and then they pulled out the pan. Real quick, so you can see there they are mixing up everything. Yeah, look at that. So they heard a small ding, they pulled out the pan. Finally, I thought, I'm a gingerbread man. Ah, he looks pretty cool, doesn't he? The teacher called recess, the class jumped in line. They raced out the door, but left me behind. I popped off the pan yelling, please take me too. I want to be part of the class, just like you. So there's a teacher, everybody's getting ready to go outside, and he was left behind. I'll run and I'll run as fast as I can. I can catch them, I'm their gingerbread man. Bouncing and bounding my way down the hall, I rounded the corner and spotted a ball. It rolled up so fast, I had no time to hide. Then flat as a pancake, I stuck to its side. <laughs> yeah, there he is, he gets stuck on the side of the bowl. The coach picked it up and started to bounce. There's somebody down here, I had to announce. Who's that, he said, stopping. Well, let's have a looky. He jumped up when he saw me. Good grief, it's a cookie. <laughs> he saw a cookie at his balls, like, what's going on? I'm the gingerbread man, and I'm trying to find the children who left me behind. Your class just passed the gym a few minutes ago. Run fast, and you'll catch them. Oh, no, where's your toe? <laughs> Must have happened when he was stuck to the ball. My toe, it came off. Now what should I do? Go straight down the hall and our nurse can help you. I'll limp and I'll limp as fast as I can. I can catch them. I'm their gingerbread man. There he is with his toe off. He's gonna limp as fast as he can. I picked up my toe and hopped down the hall, then into a room that was tidy and small. The nurse came right over and she squatted down low and I pointed to show her my broken off toe. <laughs> You're quite a tough cookie. We'll fix you like new. I grinned and I said, thanks. I'm a smart cookie too. You certainly are if you found your way here. And what a brave face. Not one single tear. She fixed up my toe with a small dab of glue, then reached for a bandage and stuck that on too. I'm the gingerbread man, and I'm trying to find the children who left me behind. Is getting his bandage. Your class turned the corner just minutes ago. Try asking the art teacher. Maybe he'll know. He's right down the stairs. You can take a quick ride. Just hop on the handrail. It makes a great slide. I'll slide and I'll slide as fast as I can. I can catch them. I'm their gingerbread man. So there she is telling him what to do and there he is sliding down the rail. With spectacular speed, I slid to the floor and bounced right through a large wooden door. I leaped for a table but landed inside a brown paper bag with its top open wide. I popped on a sandwich and chips with a crunch. Oh no, I cried out. I'm in somebody's lunch. <laughs> there he is leaping and bam, there he is in somebody's lunch. I tried to climb out but I spied two big eyes. They peered in the bag with a look of surprise. Oh, what's going on? I'm the art teacher here, he said with a grin. This is my lunch bag, so glad you dropped in. Uh, I'm the gingerbread man, and I'm trying to find the children who left me behind. Uh, so there's the art teacher. There he is peeking out of the bag. Your class passed the art room just minutes ago. You might ask the principal. Maybe she'll know. I leaped from the table, I waved and I said, thanks for not taking a bite out of my head. I'll skip and I'll skip as fast as I can. I can catch them, I'm their gingerbread man. There he is right there, please don't eat me. He's in his lunch, so please don't eat me. And there he is getting ready to go find these kids. 
I passed through an office, slipped under a door, and discovered a room I had yet to explore. I jumped on a desk. I then leaped to a chair. It started to spin, and I twirled through the air. Despite feeling dizzy, I jumped up for more, but froze when I saw someone peek in the door. Here he is going, wee, he's messing around in the chair, but uh, he might be in trouble. Somebody's coming in. I'm Principal Peacock, she said, stepping in. That is my chair you took for a spin. I'm the gingerbread man, and I'm trying to find the children who made me, but left me behind. The children you mentioned just left you to cool. They're hanging these posters of you through the school. Look at, see? They're looking for him while he's looking for them. And there on the wall was a drawing of me. The poster said, missing from room 23. If found, please return him as soon as you can. We think he is lost. He's our gingerbread man. I jumped in her hand. Can you show me the way? We rushed to my classroom to shouts of, hooray! The class said, we missed you. We want you to stay and be our new friend. Please don't run away. We made you a gingerbread desk and a chair and a house all your own. It's cozy in there. You're part of our class now, where you belong. Next time we go out, we'll take you along. There's a class all excited they found him. Look at that. And yeah, they made him his own little house. I felt right at home here. I liked my new place. I looked out the window, a smile on my face. I ran and I ran as fast as I could. I finally found them. I knew that I would. There you go, guys. The gingerbread man loose in the school. And there is the author. Hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Thank you again for joining us for this upload. What was your favorite part of the book, kids? Have your adults or the parents with you make a comment down below. I like the part where his toe got stuck to the ball. <laughs> that was kind of cute. If you'd like us to do another reading with Rick next Saturday, make a comment or a suggestion of a book down below. I do appreciate that. Don't forget to have the adults or the parents with you right now. Click that link and print out those cool Corvette coloring pages. And remember to stay safe. Give me one more of these, all right? Knuckle touch, here we go. One, two, three. Good job, you guys. Thanks for watching and have a great day.